So let's start. So we're going to be talking about RPA. So what exactly is RPA? RPA is nothing but robotics process automation. So I'll just say robotics process automation. Uh, process automation. And uh, it's just a domain, it's just a process where it's just a uh, technology using which you automate different things. And there are many tools that are available in the market. And uh, if I name some of the tools, then we got Blue Prism. This is one of the tools. Then we got Automation Anywhere. Anywhere. All right. And then we've got uh, UiPath. I will show you all these tools today. All right. Now, Work Fusion. And then we got uh, many other things like you bought Zero Poster. Many other things are there. But these are the leading uh, players in the market. So let's talk about them. Uh, but before jumping ahead into the tool, um, I would like to explain a bit more on the RPA. What's the demand? Is it good? And anyway, guys, this is what the tool is. This is UiPath. We'll be talking about that soon. But uh, first of all, how is the market on RPA? Is it good? Uh, it's not good. It's great. Because you, well, I don't have to tell you it's good or great. You have to decide. Let me put the facts and you will decide. See, try to understand. Everyone is going after automation. Why? Why would a company go after automation? Because, of course, cost cutting. Uh, one of the reasons, cost cutting, of course. And the second most important reason is the errors, the manual errors, the accuracy. So now we've got 100% accuracy. So you cannot have, you can't do any mistake, right? So that's why this is, uh, this is such a great thing accuracy all right and there are a lot of other factors because of which you will see the market of rpa will be quite uh, blooming in fact it is blooming right now and i am not sure how long the gold rush will last probably uh, 10 years or so when uh, um, in fact if i'm running a company then i would like to automate each and everything so that's the, uh, the that's the same thing that all the companies are doing right now all the top giants they're doing the same thing all right so that's what automation is now i will show you some of the tools like blue prism this is one of the this one of the top most tools why because they have partnership with most of the companies like accenture ibm deloitte and you name it it's all the big giants they have partnership that's the main reason why you will see the lot of requirement on blue prism compared to other tools now let's see the blue prism tool this is what the tool is this is the blue prism tool and um, here you go you uh, you will see before jumping into that uh, i'll tell you i like to tell you something that you will see pretty much most of these tools are uh, quite similar i would say it's kind of like copy paste most of the functionalities uh, there will be different slight difference but if you ask me which one should you learn it does not matter because you learn anything uh, let's say if you learn UI path or blue prism automation anywhere so you're good you're good to go because uh, you will see there are a lot of other tools that you might have to learn in future for example let's say you get a job in a big MNC right all right now when you get a job you the company might not be using any of these tools so if that happens then they will train you on their local tool or okay so you need to learn fast implement that thing in order to do that you should you should have learned the fundamentals of all these rpa tools okay so now let's uh, let me give you uh, show you how it looks like all these tools and what we can do with that what are the common features differences uh, we'll, we'll try to do it quickly i the time is uh, everything so i will not waste your time all right so see here so this is how it looks like guys this uh, you see processes objects objects is uh, pretty much like uh, what you have in most of the languages like uh, you take uh, c c plus uh, sorry c plus plus python java anything so you have the concept of objects there's nothing but reusability so that's the same thing here you create objects you make it re reusable components you create it and that you can call it across your uh, processes all right so and the process is something is very simple that's the most important thing it does uh, this is this is the most important thing as you can see here start and so when i say okay all right guys you have to do some automation then basically i'm asking you to create a process or a mapping all right so here you go this is what the mapping is 
Uh, this, this is a very simple mapping as you can see here. I'm just adding 10 plus 2. How much is that? 30, right? So I'm just doing that. You can see here 10, 20 and doing a calculation if you see here data 1 plus data 2. So that's uh, equal to data 3 and if you want to run it, just run it. Go ahead and run it. You see calculation. Can you see this? This is 30. It's very simple and easy to develop. It's a drag and drop interface. All right. So because we are living in 2018 and you can imagine that everything must be crystal clear, smooth. The word is smooth. It should be very smooth. So that's what this is. So if you see here calculation, I just pick one, this and multi calculations. <clears throat> sorry. And then linking if I want to do stuff like that. OK, so those kind of things. And uh, what's the uh, big deal about this? Uh, you can record things you can uh, there are many things that you can do here you can see here so uh, just see this interface um, see the tools debugging all that right so I'm not going much deeper into I'm not going to save this either so just discount the changes because and you see here the control dashboard. Uh, we'll talk about a bit on the dashboard. You see the reporting side and all the different processes, the database tables, the queues, and other, and other stuff. The total number of automation. Uh, you can, the reporting is quite good. And um, uh, if someone is asking me what is this all about, this is an army of bots. What's a bot? Bot is nothing but it's a process that does your automation. And so you compare it to human being. Okay. So this is what this tool is, Blue Prism. And if I talk about another leading tool in market, that's the UI path. Okay, so this is what UI path is. And this is how it looks like. You will see it's pretty much same, pretty much similar to what we have done. We have seen uh, things like uh, the process and the objects. So you have the pretty much, you have the same thing. You have a flow chart, you have a sequence. Okay, and um, the, if you see here, this one, so you see here the in this flowchart, the start and then assigning. And if I go about some uh, logics, uh, then you see here. So let's say, let's say this one, ping uh, monitor. So, or um, something that's already created. I'd just like to quickly uh, show you. So you get a glimpse, uh, an idea exactly. Okay, you cannot learn the, this thing in one, two minute. That's for sure. It will take one two hour. That's fine, but not one two minute. But still, you can you'll get an overview of what is this. What are we talking about? So uh, see here. Filter collection using link. Different uh, things that you can do here. So different uh, logics, or if you want to create something, then uh, you go here. And say create a new sequence. Uh, just say name something as demo. Okay, this thing I need to fix it. Anyway, so we don't have time for that. So we'll be talking about uh, details. I'll be taking you in the next uh, session of uh, this tool. Uh, all right, the main feature here is the recording. That's something that I love. Uh, recording, you can, let's say if I want to record, record basic, uh, just say test. Uh, what's that? I need to close and open this thing. Let's try to store it in uh, this library. Let me just change it. Okay, anyway, we'll fix that later. It's not a problem. So, see, as you can see here, you can record the um, basic basic and desktop uh, means the applications that are there uh, that are installed applications like uh, could be anything any installed application like a calculator VLC player or could be anything and in web when we talk about it can be a browser like uh, Chrome or uh, Firefox or other stuff and Citrix you know what Citrix Citrix uh, is used in most of the companies so that's why this is quite a good thing it's very important because let's say yeah, you have to access data from mainframes or from some SAP system and SAP is covered by uh, Citrix. So through Citrix you access it, then you have to use this thing. So this is quite useful there. Okay. And, um, and let's see the third tool. Don't have much time for uh, this, but uh, yeah, let's see this, this one. The third one we'll be talking about 
it is uh, automation anywhere so this is automation anywhere um, yeah so this one automation anywhere one minute yeah so this is the tool for automation anywhere and uh, this is also quite similar I would say it's much simpler to learn this thing but um, yeah, UI path and uh, blue prism they have a lot of um, uh, features good features compared uh, to automation anywhere but still this is also a great tool and the uh, as you have seen I just shown you a couple of minutes back the UI path so there we had a recording feature so uh, here also we have a recording feature and you can see it's quite the same screen recorder web recorder okay so most of the things they're pretty much the same and um, <clears throat> so record it run it um, and you will see it's uh, you don't have much options here it's quite simple um, you want to do that or the, let's say a lot of things like if you want to uh, the automation if you want to do any kind of thing you can do here it's quite uh, great and the fourth um, the tool I think it should be installed so that's nothing but work fusion so let me check if work fusion is there work fusion okay I think I have uninstalled work fusion so work fusion is also pretty much the same thing so the only thing is in work fusion uh, you have to know a bit of Java so not much but yeah a little bit so that um, <clears throat> that scares some of the people but anyway still it's uh, it's a cool tool so I've seen that right so I think I will uh, I'll not take much of your time I'll, I, I'm done with this session so this um, uh, this session I have given you a brief idea on all these tools hope you liked it and you enjoyed this thing I hope it was not that boring uh, so if you liked it loved it then please share comment subscribe and yeah so thanks guys thanks for watching my stuff thank you very much